So basically every American that has ever talked to me, has ever came in my journey, has fucked me over, has done something to where I could not trust them. The teachers are the fucking enemy. The teachers want you to be compliant 100%. They want to shut your humanity down, and when they steal your humanity, they've taken everything away from you. Freedom isn't just a virtue. Freedom is a condition for life. Without freedom, you know, you don't have, um, uh, freedom is oxygen to your soul. Without freedom, you don't actually get to live and be yourself. Freedom is the only way that a person can choose to live and be themselves. That's it. That's the only way you can make a moral decision, an ethical decision to sign into an agreeable contract is if you're a free, independent agent, if you have agency, if you have autonomy. And if you don't have those things, then you, you're just going to be manipulated for the rest of your life. You're going to be listening to other people that don't give a shit about you. Uh, another big thing that teachers want is they want transparency. They want you to be transparent. They want you to know exactly what you did, when you did it, and then they'll fuck you over every fucking time. They want you to be transparent. They want to know what you're thinking, what you're struggling with. They don't want any surprises. They want everything and anything coming out your mouth. But they don't give a shit about you. Think of Frederick Douglass. When you quietly submit, that is the level of injustice that will be perpetuated upon you. And so if you were to sit there... There's, um, you know, University of the Cumberlands. They got the fucking dean. They're going to call me because this principal, uh, Keith fucking Haynes, this piece of shit from out of Cloverport, he says he's going to do some surveys for me. Come back the next day, just shrug your shoulders. Oh, I didn't get him done. Here you go. And I was supposed to go ahead and leave. And I was kind of like, why didn't you, you know, why didn't you get him done? I wasn't just going to get up and go leave. And he's like, you're being rude. You need to get out of here. There's going to be trouble. All right. He started to get all fucking crazy. I was like, all right, I'll leave. You still want the trouble? Come on outside. If you come outside, I'll kick your ass. Waited for him to respond. He didn't fucking say a word. And that little short, bald-headed little bitch, that motherfucker goes ahead, you know, first stares at me like a fucking big tough guy. You ain't a tough guy, you piece of shit. You could have came to the goddamn street, but you ain't shit. You're a big tough guy, you know, in the fucking school, but come to the street. We have a right to, you know, as Americans, to engage in any type of contract we want to engage in. That piece of shit wants to have no democracy and be a tyrannical piece of shit. Yeah, you a tough guy when you're yelling at women and children. Let's be a tough guy in the middle of the street, bitch. So when that motherfucker sits there and threatens me, that's acceptable. They say, come to our school and we're going to have a meeting. All right, so you can be the exact same motherfucker that he was. Come to our school so that way we can fucking say, get the fuck out of here. No, you come to my fucking place and then you see how it feels. Because you all have no empathy. You have no empathy. That's, Gatewood said that so many people would be able to uh, do better in the world if they just didn't admit what they did. I remember when I told uh, Susan Rose the story, she says, well, thank you for your honesty. That motherfucker lies. That motherfucker's a lying piece of shit. He says he couldn't get the surveys done because the teachers wouldn't listen to him. You're the damn principal. How, how are the teachers not listening to you? And then you say, hey, I want this policy implemented tomorrow. And they say, no, I don't want to do it. And then you just say, okay. So that's so fucked up. You got no power over your fucking teachers, but you're being a dick to everybody else. I'd be the greatest goddamn teacher these motherfuckers have ever seen, but they don't want to fucking see a good teacher. They don't want to see a good teacher. They don't want the kids to actually be educated and empowered because they want all the power against them. Or, or so when you walk into a school, assume that all the administrators, all the teachers, all the faculty, all the principals, every single one of them motherfuckers is against you. And the parents who beat the shit out of their kids, they don't give a fuck about you. And nobody ever has and nobody ever will. They want you to be molded, manipulated, told what to do, told what to think. They're not good people. They're not good people. They don't believe in strengthening you and in making you a better person. They're tricking you. They're manipulating you. They're exploiting you, and you're going to be exploited for the rest of your life. So, you know, um, if you want, if you value relationships, if you value your contacts, if you value your reputation, don't go to public school. Do not fucking go. Those assholes only want to fucking make your kids into little bitty bitches, and they ain't fucking, they're, they're not liberating them. The school system is the problem. Why do people fucking kill themselves? Why are these kids murdering themselves? They kill themselves. Bardstown. Why that girl in Bardstown kill herself? Why that girl in uh, Cincinnati kill herself? Why did Leela kill herself? Why are these kids offing themselves? 
if the school is, you know, liberating them in such a wonderful place and such a positive learning community, if they're using uh, PB, uh, uh, PBIS, uh, you know, po uh, um, what is it, behavior, something about uh, prevention, behavior uh, prevention intervention program. So if you use PBIS, you're actually uh, stopping things from happening by, you know, uh, establishing good contacts and talking friendly, asking people how they are. Genuinely giving a shit. But again, even even the one tactic or the few tactics that I believed in that I thought was ethical, such as building trust. If you can build trust, then you're able to, you know, teach that young person for the rest of their life. If you can build trust, you know, you don't have to beat the shit out of a kid. Kids are very loving people. I've seen a kid get the shit kicked out of him. He got beat up at a store. He got the shit kicked out of him. And as soon as his daddy left, or his fucking stepdaddy, or whoever the fucking guy was that was beating up, he runs after him. So it doesn't matter how bad a parent or somebody does something to another human being, when you don't know the better, you don't know the difference. That motherfucking kid will love that person no matter what. So it doesn't matter if you're a good parent or a bad parent. If we're waiting for the damn kids to say, fuck off, you piece of shit, it'll never happen. It's just like the slaves, right? They're adults. The black slaves, Nat Turner. And you only had one Nat Turner. How come you had 30 fucking slaves, five fucking masses, and nobody with enough balls to say, fuck these people? They're beating the shit out of us. They're fucking talking to us like dogs. They're fucking us over. Fuck these people. There's 30 of us and 5 of them. In a classroom, there's 20 of us and 1 of them. But we're learning that when the massa fucking gets in front of us, the assemblies, man, I don't... I'm, I'm becoming less and less... I'm not becoming cynical. It's just that when motherfuckers get you underneath your thumb, then they'll fuck your life up. Frederick Douglass. As soon as you politely submit to... You know, obedience, that is the level of injustice which will be perpetuated upon you. If you politely submit to an assembly, right, at the school, you have a big assembly. That's when they get you in a group and they say, do this, do that. We're the fucking best. We know what's better for you. Blah, 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 blah. Teachers are being taught classroom management. They're being taught 100% compliance is how do you teach like a champion. So you want to teach like a champion? You want to be a bitch like a champion? You want to fucking be a goddamn, what, a rat, a fucking, you know, a goddamn, what, Uncle Tom on the fucking system? Go to school. Make straight A's. Do what your teachers say. But if you want a good life, you want to have good relationships, good contacts, good networks, you want to get stronger, you want that knowledge to build up every day. That's what you want. So, every person I've ever met has totally fucking lied to me. Whereas they want you to be completely transparent so they can fuck you over. They, they're they going to believe this fucking piece of shit Keith Haynes. This stupid scared ass little short motherfucker didn't want to come outside with me to fight. And so, now, that was a challenge, right? It's, he he could have just said no. Two consenting adults can do whatever they want to do. How does, you know, how do how do boxing matches happen? Boxing matches has to happen because one person tells the other person or their agent tells their other agent, do you want to fight? So do you want to fight? No? Okay. So I, I went after your manhood, but I didn't threaten. And that motherfucker threatened me. You better get out of here or there's going to be trouble. That is a threat of future harm to happen. That's a threat. And so they're fucking hypocrites. These fucking pieces of shit, these fucking bastard rat motherfuckers have no morality. They got no ethics. They're hypocrites. They'll sit there and tell you that you're doing a crime that they're committing. Same thing with the LMPD. They said assault. They said resisting arrest. They said disorderly conduct. They said menacing. But they was menacing. They was resisting. They was, you know, resisting, disorderly. What were the three? The assault. They're the ones assaulting people. They're the ones being disorderly. They're the ones menacing. They're the ones resisting. They were guilty of every goddamn crime that they fucking said I was doing. And why the fuck do I get fucked? Because I'm a bad person? Because I go around robbing people and killing people and hurting people? No. I don't fucking do that. 
So there's, is it my morality? The fact that I'm a good person? Is that why I'm getting fucked over? Quite possibly. I would say that and my obedience. Man, that shit popped off like it was nothing. I thought I was being attacked by some fucking rednecks. Some white fucking trash rednecks. And that's bullshit. So, this isn't, um, this, this isn't, uh, <laughs> I think I'll just actually end it here. But the, what I want to talk about is economics and how much I love Denmark. <laughs> that's another thing that I'm a big, I'm, I'm different on. I want to tell you all the information you want to know about the world. All the information that can help you in the world. You want to do, do this, you want to go do that. I want to help you. I want to help you achieve your dreams. I want to help you, give you all the information. If I know how to ride a bike and you want to know how to ride a bike, I'll teach you how to fucking ride the motherfucker. I will teach you how to do it. Not everybody's like that. People keep the information to themselves. They don't impart with the information. I mean, teachers are just like that too, right? Oh, yeah, and by the way, we want 100% compliance. We're manipulating the shit out of you dudes, the fuck as we say. You're, you're manipulating us. You're treating us badly. That is not cool. So, that's, um, you know, that's what we're faced with <laughs> in this time and age, this day and age. So, Denmark, I'm going to educate, I'm going to go around, I'm going to talk all about the greatness of Denmark, because Denmark is kicking ass. They're kicking ass. They have free health care, free university, free child care, $20 minimum wage, and a 33-hour work week. They're the highest taxed, 80%. They're the, ha they're the happiest country in the world. The Denmark is um, smaller than Kentucky in land mass. They got a couple, like a million and a half more people. So how can a country that's smaller than Kentucky with a more, million more people, How can they be kicking ass? How can they be doing so much fucking better than what it is Kentucky's doing? Kentucky could be lifting herself up out of poverty if we had some fucking uh, public officials, if we had leadership that actually gave a shit about, you know, the prosperity of all of Kentucky. Not just their own power, not their own fucking, you know, whatever, reputations and shit, but because they actually give a shit about the people of Kentucky. So I'm in all of that. 